Hello and welcome, I am your Code Monkey, and in this video we're going to take our simple character movement and add dodge rolling. Let's begin. So this is our character, I can move him around using the keyboard, and if I go up here, as you can see, he tests for hitboxes so he does not go through walls. And also, if I press space, I have the ability to do a dash that we had in the previous video. It makes him move forward quickly and spawns a nice effect. The dash also tests for walls, so I cannot dash through the wall. Okay, so now we want to make a nice dodge roll. The main difference between the dodge roll and the dash is that the dash is instant, whereas the dodge roll is a slide. So that requires us to animate the position over time. So let's look at the code. And here we have our simple setup. On update, we have our two functions being called, testing for normal movement and also testing for the dash. Now we're going to add another function for handling the dodge roll. So in here, handle dodge roll. The handle movement captures for keyboard input and moves them around, and the dash does the same thing, handles for the space and instantiates the effect. We also have two helper functions, one to test if we can move, which does a physics raycast to test if there is no collider towards that direction by that distance, and the try move does the same thing whilst also testing for diagonal, horizontal, and vertical movement. So up here, let's make a new function for the handle dodge roll. So first let's capture the input for our dodge. We're going to use the right mouse click. So just for testing to see if we are correctly capturing the mouse click, let's do a debug pop-up. I'm going to use the CM debug class to create a text pop-up on the mouse position. This class is part of the CodeMonkey utilities, which you can grab for free from unitycodemonkey.com. So in here, let's just do a pop-up on the mouse position to say click. So let's see. So here I am moving around, right click, and yep, there you go, there's the pop-up, so we are correctly capturing the mouse click. Okay, so now back in the code, since we want to make a slide instead of an instant movement, that means we need to move the transform over several updates. For that, we're going to use some simple states. So all the way up here, let's define a private enum for the state. In here, first we're going to have a very simple state, so the normal state, and then we're also going to have the dodge roll sliding state and we store the state as a member variable. By default, we start off at state.normal, and then on our update, we do a simple switch on our state. So in case we are on the normal state, we are doing the exact same thing as previously, but if we are on case state.dodgeroll sliding, then we want to do something else. So let's do a function to handle actually moving the transform. So we're going to call this the handle dodge roll sliding. So in this function, we're going to move the transform. So just for testing, let's simply move him towards the right. So move the transform dot position, move him towards the right by a certain sliding speed. So let's define here a float for the sliding speed and multiply by time dot delta time since we want this to be frame rate independent. And up here on the handle dodge roll, let's do dodge roll and we set the state to be state dot dodge roll sliding. So we change the state when we hit the right mouse button and then on the update when we have this state it will run this function which will move him towards the right on every frame. So let's see if he is sliding to the right. Okay, so here's the character moving around. If I hit the right mouse button, yep, there you go, he's sliding to the right. Okay, great. So now we need the actual direction we're going to slide towards. In order to use that direction here, it means we need to set it as a member variable. So all the way up here, let's make a private vector 3 for the slide there. And we're going to set that all the way down here on the handle dodge roll. When we start dodge rolling, we need to set the slide direction. We're going to make him slide towards the mouse. So define the slide direction as the mouse world position minus this transform dot position. So we have the slide direction towards the mouse, and now in here on the handle dodge roll sliding, instead of using this created vector, we're going to use the slide direction. So let's test and we should be able to see the character sliding towards the mouse position. So here I am moving around, if I place the mouse in here and hit the right button, if there you go, he dashed towards the mouse. Okay. So now obviously we don't want him to keep sliding forever, so let's solve that. In order to do that, we're going to start off with a certain slide speed and then reduce that speed until it is near zero. So all the way up here, we're going to define another member variable. This will be a private float for the slide speed. Just like we did in the direction, we're going to define the slide speed when we actually start sliding. So in here, let's set a certain amount, so let's say 350. And now in here, when we are handling the dodge roll sliding, 
We're going to use the actual slide speed instead of this one defined in here. And then we're going to reduce it by a certain amount. So we're going to reduce the slide speed by, let's say, itself multiplied by a certain number and time dot delta time. So this will reduce our slide speed every frame until it very much near zero. So in here we simply do an if the slide speed, if it is under a low enough amount, so let's test first for five, then we should go back to the normal state. So state equals state dot normal. And let's also do another pop-up just to see when this happens. Okay, so that should do it, so let's see. Okay, so here's the character, I can move him around. Now the mouse is in here, press the right mouse button, and yep, there you go, he dodged, and as you can see, the state changing. When I click, he got dodge roll. When he slides in there and the speed is back to low, he goes back to normal, and again, I can move, I can still dash, and everything else still works. So slide, and there you go, normal. So dodge, 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 and I can keep dodging, and yep, just like that. Now we are currently moving to transform, so again, like with all the others, we are currently not testing for hitboxes, so let's deal with that. So here when we are moving, instead of moving him using this function, we can use this nice try move function that we made previously. So in here we simply do a try move towards the slide there. We're going to move him by slide speed multiplied by time, not down to time. Okay, here I am, and if I slide towards the wall, yep, there you go, I don't go through the wall. He slides and then he moves along the wall. Okay, great. Now the only thing missing is the actual roll animation, so let's add that. I have the animation here in the base class alongside the walking and idle animations. So in here, when we start the dodge roll, all we need to do is go into the player character base and play the dodge animation towards the slide deer. Okay, so let's see. Okay, here I am, move around and I dodge and yep, there you go, we got the nice dodge roll animation, we got the slide movement and again, we can also go through walls and yep, everything is moving, the states are changing and everything works great. So there you have it, we added a simple dodge roll ability to be able to move our character away from attacks. The code is set up in a simple way and all the other code we wrote previously is still working along with the new dodge roll. As always, you can download the project files and utilities from unitycodemonkey.com. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.